Okay, so we are going on to 12.6, day one. Um, today we're going to talk about permutations. So to kind of warm up for this, we're going to start with this example. How many different ways can you arrange the lineup of softball players, Angie, Bev, and Cindy? For simplicity's sake, let's call them A, B, and C. Huh, funny how that worked out, huh? All right, so how many different ways can I arrange them? Let's see, I could have Angie, Bev, and Cindy. Or maybe Angie, Cindy, Bev. What if Bev is first, then Angie, Cindy? Or Bev, Cindy, Angie? Or let's put um, Cindy first, and then Angie, Bev. And then Cindy, Bev, Angie. Can you think of any other ways we can arrange this? I think that's it. So how many different arrangements did we get? Looks like six ways. This is what we call a permutation. When objects or people or whatever it is are arranged so that order is important, each possible arrangement is called a permutation. Now, when you have two or three or even four objects or people, it's not too bad to do it by hand to figure it out. But what if I had nine softball players or 20 softball players or 50? I mean, suddenly having to figure this out is going to be a, a lot harder and much more time confusing. The good news is we can use what's called a factorial. A factorial looks like an exclamation point. And what it means is that you take every, um, take an integer and multiply it by every integer greater than zero that is less than that number. That was confusing. What do I mean by that? If you had the number 7 and you were doing 7 factorial, what you would do in your calculator is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, 2, 1. That's what a factorial is. So your math's going to look really exciting today because we're going to have all these exclamation points everywhere. So... To do this, all you're going to do is take the number of people or objects that you have. So in this case, we had Angie, Bev, Cindy, three. And you're going to factorial that. So three times two times one equals six. And do you notice that it's the same answer there? Okay, so let's try another example. Um, a travel agency is planning a European vacation package. How many ways can the agency arrange the five cities along the tour? Well, how many cities are there? Five. Do the factorial of that. Five times four, three, two, one. And what do you get? You should get 120. How do you do? Lloyd and five friends go to a movie. How many ways can they sit together in a row of six empty seats? How many people are there? Six, okay, do a factorial of that. So six, five, four, three, two, one. And what do you get this time? It should be 720. Now, sometimes we have more people than we have spots for. So for example, coach wants to do a lineup of three players. He has five players to fill the spots. If we were in class, I'd have us do this by hand together. Um, instead, I'm just going to skip to the general formulation. Sorry, general formula for this, which is, notice how I read this, the probability of the permutations of n choose r equals that formula there. n is going to be the total number of objects. r is going to be the number of objects we're choosing. So, um, a librarian is placing six of ten magazines in a school showcase. In how many ways can she arrange the magazines in the case? We're going to start with putting the total number factorial on top. So, since there's ten total uh, magazines, I'm going to put that on top. And then I'm going to put ten minus, since we're choosing six, I'll put minus six on the bottom. And of course, we know that 10 minus 6 is 4. And now we're set to plug this into our calculator. Now, if I were you, what I would do is get the bottom number first, and I would write that number down. So 4 factorial 
equals 24. Now what I'm going to do in my calculator is type in the 10 factorial. So I'm doing 10 times 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And when I hit equal, I get a pretty big number. I'm getting 3628800. Now you don't actually have to write that number down or clear or anything. When I hit enter and I get that number, I'm just going to go ahead and hit divide 24. And the answer is 151,200 ways to uh, arrange the magazines. Fill in some of my work there. Okay. One more example of that. James wants to place five of his eight trophies in the oh, on the fireplace. <laughs> I what I said in the fireplace. How many ways can he arrange the trophies? So again, how many do we have total? Divide that by eight. Oops, eight minus that five. And exclamation point, 5 minus 8 we know is 3. So that's going to be 8 factorial divided by 6. Because 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. Now plug that into my calculator. 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm getting 40,320. And my final answer when I divide that by 6 is 6,720. Okay, that is all for today. I'm, yep, there we go. That's all for today, so I will see you next time.